اللهم يا من جعلت السحر ابتلاء فأنت برحمتك لن تنسانا وأنت جل جلالك الحمد لله الولي المتقين حق من عبد وأكرم من سئل والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء سراجا منير أما بعد أحب في الله there are two diseases and these diseases are very very dangerous when they harbor inside the heart of an individual what are these diseases is envy and hatred these two individual when they harbor inside the heart of an individual or human being they blind our heart that heart cannot see no goodness anymore that heart will be a heart where it will make the heart think because of these two diseases that the is doing the individual is doing good but in fact the individual is not doing good he will be very very proud of himself what he does but in fact he's blinded the blindness has covered his eyes and the heart and he only thinks he's doing good but in fact he's only bringing his own downfall and this individual there's no cure for him until he goes back to the remembers of Allah Rabbul Izza and ask Allah to cure his heart let me tell you something let me tell you something these two disease they are dangerous for any heart ask Allah to protect me and whoever i love this disease is a disease where the person does not agree with the decree of allah and the person hate the decree of allah that's why he envies and that's why he hate this disease is a disease where it takes one out of islam or he eat his iman like a wood is been eaten by fire if the person does not wake up very quickly recently i've come across on some men who have done very bad act at act against islam and an act where is based on hatred and envy and they are justifying it wallahi thumma wallahi i feel sorry for these people wallahi i feel sorry for these people because if the person is blinded he will not see he will absolutely not see if the heart is blinded by disease this is how dangerous it is this individual if his heart harbors this disease he goes to length very very big length and then some of them go and revenge what sort of revenge either physically either by very foul in words or either by resorting behind the scene and seeking help of the devil and majority of them turn to something which is called sihrul intiqam black magic of revenge why because they think they are doing good i repeat the word again but in fact they are not doing good because of the hatred and the envy that harbors their heart and you see them resorting to sihr al intiqam but some people you can justify but there's no justification in going and asking satan la'natullah either betrayal they've been betrayed by the husband or betrayed by the wife or betrayed by whoever there and they resort into this type of magic some because of the envy and hatred inside the heart and they see a person getting married or a person is beautiful or a brother is uh, handsome or somebody has got so much wealth and they go and harm him either harm that person or harm his children so the person suffers slowly today the main subject is sihr al intiqam black magic of revenge why does it happen because of treachery and betrayal why do a lot of people resort on it because they think that nobody sees them what they are doing number one number two they think they can revenge 
There's no justification in seeking help from the devil. Absolutely no. But instead of them sitting back and thinking twice, what am I doing? Is this correct? If he was wronged, there's a mighty king up there. You call upon him. If you are not wrong, you're doing because of envy and hatred, go and seek forgiveness and seek help towards Allah Rabbul Izzah to remove this disease from you. Sihr intiqam is one of the most dangerous sihr. When he hits, he destroys everything, completely destroys by the will of Allah Rabbul Izzah. Sihr intiqam is one of the wickedest magic. Is black magic of revenge. Revenge. Remember one thing is that this magic, when the person is wicked, he goes and does and does it and does it and does it, until he see the downfall of the person. It doesn't stop because when he looks at the individual, he see the individual standing. He's standing because of Allah Rabbul Izzah, not you. And the individual tries and tries and tries to destroy that person, but no chance. Sihr intiqam. If the person is hit, he needs to be very upright or he will be destroyed. Sihr intiqam. A lot of people resort on this sihr. I have heard it myself. Wallahi. That I will show you. And I think to myself, who are you going to show him? This is the level of the people go. What are the symptoms? The symptoms are always three, day, night, and day. Ibadah. The individual will struggle to do his ibadahs. The individual will struggle to sleep. The individual will struggle to do any tax, task during the day. The general symptoms, the individual will have, every symptom he has will be extreme. The legs pain will be extreme until he can't walk. The chest breathing will be extreme until he cannot breathe anymore. Or he'll bring the asthmatic breath. He will have pain in the head, extreme headache. He will either be vomiting frequently because it was meant to cause total destruction of that individual. Or he will have so much pain in the lower back, so much pain in the stomach, so much, so much. His body will change color into either red spot or yellowish. The individual will hallucinate and the individual will love to self-isolate. Nausea, lethargic, and his body will become weak day by day. And when this, when this sehr hits, it rapidly takes over. These are the symptoms of sihr intiqam. Now, how to move forward? Istihan Allah, Azkar, Salah five times, and Surah to Baqarah, Surah to Dukhan, Surah to Fatih, and Surah to Taha, Surah to Yusuf, all this together, and Surah to Abasa. All this together and morning, evening, morning, evening. Either you can pick few surahs in the morning, few surahs in the evening. In the water, drink that water, shower with that water. Remember, you are dealing with the most wicked person who wants to destroy you and who wants revenge on you for nothing or for something. So stay steadfast. And seek help to a salah and be patient. This is a video about Sihr Intiqam, Black Magic of Revenge. Stay tuned for more. Abu Yahya from the Rukh Talk. Wa akhru da'wana. Wa salamun ala al-mursaleen. Wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Hatta yatabayyana lahum annahu al-haq.